Hello everybody, I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is FTL Fast and Light. That's right, we're back with some more FTL, and today I'm thinking I'm thinking we might want to try the Rock Cruiser, because we can might be able to unlock uh, the next, or the other layout, the alternate layout type B. So, have your crew kill a burning enemy on their ship while using the Rock Cruiser, while using or destroying an enemy ship with a defense drone deployed using only missiles. Find the secret sector with the Rock Cruiser. I assume that's like the uh, Crystal Dude, right? Like, that's probably what it is. Kill a burning enemy on their ship while using the rock cruiser. So I guess that means that I have to use uh, teleporters. So teleporters will be a priority. Uh, anyway, let's name this the USS. Uh, so you know, this I'm, I'm actually going to use a, a a a comment from from a viewer, uh, which would be fish dicks. USS fish dicks. But I'm actually going to go. Triple X because that's the most classy way to do it. I think. Right. Like I, I think I think. That way may be the best. And we have bears on our ship, which is fantastic. That means we're going to win right now. Uh, cool. So let's let's get everybody in the positions. Tai Yi will be our commander. Jill, you could go ahead over to shields, and we'll have bears be our weapons guy. I mean, he has to be, right? He's a freaking bear, man. Um, and you know what? I might go for the dodge chance. I think that might not be a bad idea. I think that's going to be a good idea. I think that's an idea that I want to stick with. And uh, let's go ahead and jump towards, you know, a bunch of areas because areas are good, man. Uh, so they want to take two fuel for three drone parts? No. Can we power that up and power up both of these? No, but we can power down the med bay and power that up. So we're going to have 20% dodge chance, which is fantastic. That is going to allow us to uh, to jump around. By the way, I changed the audio because people keep complaining about the audio being too loud. So hopefully this is good. I, I I'm I'm you know messing around with it. So hopefully tell me, let me know if this is good enough, or if it's not, then you know also equivalently let me know. So this does damage. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go there. Uh, we are going to get boarded here, which sucks. But uh, and actually. Well, we don't have blast doors, so here's what we'll do. Oops. Okay, definitely won't. Don't want shields to go down. So let's get engine man up in there. Okay, he's he's gonna come in. He's probably not gonna like what he's doing. Yeah, you're not gonna like any of that. Looks like we're not hurting them at all. Okay, so we could close all the doors now. Engage in combat here. Go kick this guy's ass. Uh, doors are down and on fire, which is terrible, actually. And we don't have auto fire on because I am a fool. I am a total fool. I apologize for my foolish nature. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it looks like since there was no oxygen in the room, uh, the fire went out. So that works. <laughs> It's a good thing I drained the oxygen out of the room. I just, I, you know, I kind of had the feeling that a fire would start, so I figured, you know, might as well drain it so that fires are prevented ahead of time. I felt like I was going into like pseudo Chris Walken there for a second, and then I, I decided to not uh, continue with pseudo Chris Walken. So, by the way, the Rockmen, what their special ability is, is that they have 150 health, and uh, let's get bears back in the weapons room. And uh, they have 150 health, and also they have giant rock boners, which is, you know, impressive for uh, a rock man to have, certainly. Uh, and we're going to jump to that distress beacon, but I want to jump around a bit first. Let's aid the civilian ship. Oh, that's a bummer, actually. We're going to have to blow a bunch of missiles. And actually, how much does this one do? Fires one missile, does two damage. Fires one missile, two damage. Yeah, I guess we might as well fire it twice. Uh, and just for safekeeping, we'll get the Artemis firing there. We The whole missile does uh, twice as much damage, so it'll do four damage in systemless rooms, which is good. doesn't really matter right now, though, because... Oh, that's bad. Okay, shields are down. Should have got a guy in the shield room. What, what, what were you guys thinking? Not putting a guy in the shield room. Man, that was a bad decision. Now we're going to take a bunch of damage. Okay, here we go. Now we should be able to take them out. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe maybe we're just going to all die, which I would hope that we do not. But I suppose I cannot uh, control this. Okay, let's get the whole missile firing there. Let's turn off the Artemis. 
until of course they uh, they hit our uh, unless they repair their weapons then then I'll fire the Artemis again but we might as well keep the whole missile up hitting dealing with them a bit yeah see the whole missile does so much damage that it really makes no sense to not be firing that over the Artemis although I guess we could always just Artemis it up make sure their weapons are down and they're dead fantastic uh, so we got one missile oh okay uh, and the captain the the civilian ship that we saved gave us a pike beam which is fantastic because that will be good in conjunction with our missiles um, and let's jump to this distress beacon because the rebels seem to be hot on our tails uh, so you know hmm single life form Find a man living alone from the appearance of his wreck ship. He seems to have been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Well, that really never has worked out, so we're going to leave him there, sadly. Because every time I, I pick him up, I don't know what that's based on. Maybe it's based on your combat rating? I'm not sure. Scans a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners, useful materials. Let's explore. Yeah, we got some missiles, some scrap. Why were there missiles in the asteroid field? That's what I want to know. I want to know it! I want it to be known. It is known. All right, here we go. Uh, we got the pike beam. Let's aid the civilian ship. Cool. That's bad. So let's get the whole missile up. We want to take out their drones. We want to take out their, not their shields. We're going to take out their, uh, their weapons here. And one damage per room. Okay, so uh, the Artemis, or not the Artemis, the pike beam. Great, we missed. Okay, the, the Artemis is... Uh, <coughs> Okay, their drones are down at least. Our engines are down, but that's not a big deal. Okay, and now we can power down the whole missile, power up the pike beam, get that working. Whoa. Okay, let's get the Artemis firing at their missiles really quick. And we'll get the pike beam firing that away. Do as much damage as possible. Turn off the Artemis. Because they're dead! Success! We got some missiles, some scraps, some more missiles because of the uh, alien crew that we saved, which is very nice of them to give us some free stuff. Okay, this is bad. Uh, this is bad. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, so let's uh, let's power down the pike beam. Let's power up the whole missile. Let's uh, let's hit that because um, uh, uh, you know what? I'll get the whole missile firing at their weapons because I I wanna I wanna get the pike beam up, but the thing is, we can't fire the pike beam unless their shields are down, so okay, there goes the shield, so we can actually, let's get the whole missile there once that goes up, then we can get the uh, pike beam up, get that going this away and hopefully we should survive okay, cool, we have indeed survived we just have to put out all these fires which is fine because uh, the rock member uh, members of the crew don't take damage from fire. I think I think that's how it works. Is that they either don't take damage from fire or they put out fire a lot faster. Something like that. Um, either way, we're good with fire. Okay, so apparently it still took down our oxygen somehow, which sucks. Uh, and we'll get uh, Mr. Bears up in the engine room to repair that because we definitely need engines. Uh, and we got to jump. Uh, we got two stores, I guess. So let's jump to this store first. See what's going on. We can uh, repair while we're there. Uh, so cloaking drone control. I wanted uh, to have the whatchamacallit. The teleporter. No such luck it seems. But that's fine. That's not a big deal. Uh, that's, not, that's not a huge concern. I didn't really see what else was being sold in the, uh, in the store here. Let's check it out. Uh, pfft, drones. So we can get drone control. Which would probably be a good idea. Uh, but we wouldn't have enough power, really, to power up the drone control. In truth. Uh, yeah, it would require two power. What does this defense drone do? I don't think it's a good idea. So I'm probably not going to do it. I'll probably repair. I'll probably get a few missiles. Uh, why not some fuel? And then, uh, and then, I'll, and then I'll power up our ship some. I guess we could go for the shields early, or we could go for the weapons, but that mm, probably wouldn't be good. People have been telling me to upgrade the med bay because that gives you, uh, you know, 
uh, a higher chance for those blue uh, options and oxygen too to, to to do. But I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to spend power on oxygen to be honest with you. Uh, but getting blast stores probably not a bad idea. Yeah. So let's 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 get the blast stores and then uh, and then we'll see what's going on later on here. Let's jump to this store. See what's going on in there. I guess I should have jumped to that store before I spent everything. Yep, there's the crew teleporter. Great. <laughs> I'm a smart man. I am not a smart man. Okay, so we could sell some stuff if we want. Yeah, but we'd have to sell a lot of stuff to get the crew teleporter. All right, so we screwed the pooch. All right, guys, we screwed the pooch. And by we, I mean entirely me. Uh, and if you excuse me for just one second. Okay, cool. Uh, I was just making sure my mic is still working. Cool. Let's, yeah, let's defend the outpost. Okay, so let's get the Artemis firing here at their shields. And then we can get the pike beam going whenever it's up. Because it should be up soon. Uh, actually, likely... Okay, yeah, now we can fire the pike beam. Cool, they only have ion blast, so we might as well start repairing this med bay because there's really nothing else. Oh, God, I didn't want the... Ah, dang it. I didn't want that Artemis to fire. I, I would have rather saved my missile. Uh, we got it back, I guess. Ah, uh, we got extra missile, so you know what? That works. That's fine. That works out just fine for me. I think that's okay. I think I think that's a okay. Uh, but we definitely do want to upgrade our shield soon. So we need 50 plus 40. Yeah, 40. All right. So we need uh we need 140, or not 140. I'm bad at math. Is that obvious? Um. Uh, let's go to the Uncharted Nebula. Right? I mean, hey, people tell me Uncharted Nebulas, those are the place to go, guys. So let's chart this nebula. We're going to chart the hell out of this nebula. This nebula is going to get charted oh, so hard. Okay, Heavily Damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Attempt to follow and help them. You get lucky and find them floating not too deep in the nebula. Thrilled to be found by friendlies. They come on board and abandon their wrecked ship. That is awesome. By they, did they mean just that one guy? Because it's just that one guy. Um, and you know... Uh, hold on, let me see something real quick. Do they have lower... No, okay. So yeah, they're immune to fire. Uh, so Tai Yi, you have been demoted. You're going to be our engines, man. Because I'd rather have a human in the pilot room. Uh, so that these guys can put out fires a lot easier. So I think this is a good idea. And we can, uh, can kind of, you know, explore a bit. Hmm. Okay, let's put up the whole missile. Let's get the Artemis firing there. Let's get the whole missile firing there. Because we could take down their weapons. Uh, and in fact, we probably should, but I am stupid. And uh, I, may, I may change my decision uh, when, when it's necessary. Mm, pretty much necessary now. Okay, drones are down, which is good. We can get the Artemis firing at their weapons. We're getting unlucky because we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of drone guys, which is sad. Um, okay, and now we can power up the pike beam and get the Artemis firing at their shields. And then we could hit them right where it hurts, right in the balls. All right, there we go. Get the pike beam going. Hmm, do we either want to go? Do you either want to go for the drones or the weapons? I think I think we can keep the, the weapons down. I think that's a better idea. So, we'll we'll deal with that. And then uh, we'll take off the Artemis for right now. Unless we really desperately need it. If the shields come back up, then we will desperately need it. But no, we don't, because we took them out. Fantastic. Got some fuel, got some scrap, got some good stuff. That is what I like to see. Alright, where, where are we encountering here? Okay. Now you practically bump holes with a mantis ship. They hail you. Fa, this transition will be overlooked. Nebula very dangerous. Next time humans all die. You know what? I don't want to deal with them. I just I don't like dealing with uh, teleporting at all. I'm bad at it. And uh, I'm afraid of it. Okay. Looks like uh, nothing doing in there. I didn't even realize our med bay was down. Might as well get that repaired. As quickly as possible, the we have Ensign Bears dealing with it, because he's a bear. He's a man of bears. He's a bear man. He's a man, man, bear, man, bear, 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 ban, ban, bear. Um, also, uh, <laughs> someone actually mentioned. Somebody was just like, "Dude, 
You should seriously start doing serious names. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's probably not gonna happen anytime soon. Um, serious names are not happening. We, I mean, we got the USS Fish Dicks with three X's. I mean, how classy is that? I mean, do you, you really want anything more? Um, you know, not a bad idea. We'd have to sell something though. We could sell the whole missile. Uh, and then we would have extra power, but what do we need extra power in? I guess the shields wouldn't be so bad, because then we wouldn't need the extra stuff on a bobber. Crew teleporter, also, if we sold something, uh, wouldn't be so bad. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards not even picking up another crew member and just going, because we, ha we do have to sell something. So, I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I don't think we're gonna do it. I think I think what we're gonna do is play it a little bit more safe, a little bit closer to the chest. We'll just repair a bit and uh, keep on going here. I kind of do need upgrades. Okay, yeah, we can deal with this guy. <laughs> this this guy, he's not gonna be very difficult at all. Uh, and we'll attack that their uh, we'll attack their their weapon system first. Uh, because I think this is gonna be a good idea. Uh, the Artemis should be able to charge almost twice before uh, we have to deal with their things here. Cool. Their weapons are kinda down, which is good, because that means that their uh, things are down, and uh, we like when their things are down. They're, you know, making sure that the things uh, stay down. They remain down. Okay, there we go. We get the pike beam going, and uh, we can hit multiple systems here, so let's do that. Fantastic. We took them out. Look at that. Look how cool we are. Hey, goat. How you doing? Say hello to your mother for me. Okay, heavy laser mark one. This is good. Fires one shot, causes two damage, low chance of breaching. Ah, <sighs> that's good. That's sellable, I think. I think that's a sellable item. I think that's an item that we can sell. And we could, in fact, jump back there. Yeah, you know what? We might just do that. It'd be a waste of some fuel. But let's do this. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and sell that. See what we can't get for it. Hopefully something good. Okay, not so bad. Now we have a decision. Do we go for the crew teleporter or do we go for a crew member? I think we're going to go for a crew member because, you know, one of these guys wouldn't be so bad, uh, really. Actually, we could get two of them, can't we? No, no, not quite. Need 110. Um, so I think I think I'm gonna go for a Zoltan guy, and Mike Weston sounds good. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's go all in here, um, because I think I think uh, this this shouldn't be a bad idea. And in fact, we're gonna upgrade our shields some, at least a bit. And then we're gonna get jumping again. I don't know if this is a good idea, if this is a bad idea, but it was an idea. And that's the important thing, is that we made a decision, guys. We made a decision, and it's a decision that we have to live with now forever. Let's attack the pirate. Cool. Uh, they have a... Uh, it looks like a burst laser, but it looks like a bur burst laser Mark One. They have missiles, too. Ah, I mean, let's be safe. Let's be safe. Keep the pike beam up. And then we'll deal with... Whatever, when we need to deal with it. We'll deal with the other problems when they come. Okay, missiles are coming in. Cool. Only did one damage. Get the Artemis hitting their shields now so that we can get the pike beam firing. Which should be any day now. Come on, hit them right in the shields. Don't miss. Okay, trying to escape. Well, that's too bad because you guys are dead. Is there any way? Yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. Boom! Apparently, if it's just one pixel, it only needs one pixel in a room for it to do damage. So, uh, so that worked out for us. We could jump there, and then the rebels would be there next. What would we? What would we do? We would sell something? Yeah, it's not worth it. Ain't worth it. Ain't worth it, guys. Uh, and then we'll probably power up our uh, our reactor next time. Uh, that we get twenty scrap. So that we can deal with some shiz. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fire the Artemis at their weapons, fire the whole missile at their shields. Uh, because we want to be able to take down them, or take them down with our pike beam. And in fact, actually, we could even just focus straight on their weapons. Yeah, okay, their weapons are down. Uh, in fact, oh well, alright, whatever. And let's power that down. Let's power that up. 
They, they literally can't do anything to us, so. Uh, because they're an automated drone, so they actually can't hit us. Uh, and let's get the pike beam going. And we win! Relatively easy fight. Oh, what the fudge? Oh, man. I wasted a missile. I thought I turned off the Artemis. I really did think I thought I did that. I, I really did think that I did that, but it turns out I didn't. It's a shame. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's chase him. It gets away? But I see it right there! The ship didn't get away! That is nonsense. I call bullshit. I call bullshit on you, FTL. You lied to me. Okay, so they have... Okay, alright. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, potentially a big deal because they could shoot us a lot and it would do a lot of damage. Oh, we should have powered up our shield, shouldn't we have? Okay, so let's get the Artemis firing at their weapons. Let's get the Pike Beam firing that way. And yeah. Okay, luckily that missed. That bomb is not going to miss, however. Okay, that did... Oh, okay, so that's... Oh, shit, actually. Let's see what's going on in there. Oh, God. Repair our shields. Okay, Artemis, you could go down. Is that a hole missile? Is that a hole bomb? No, okay. Uh, their their bomb exploded. I guess I, I guess it was like a like a, a sense a systems damaging uh, weapon or whatever. So that's probably what went on there. We have enough power. That's nonsense. All right, Pike Beam should be up any day now. Fantastic. There they go. Let's see what we get. Some scraps, some missiles, some drone parts. Cool. Why can't we power that up? I don't understand this. We have we have a bar. We we I can't we I don't get this. All right, so let's let's do that. Okay, now we have enough to power that up. Fantastic. Cool. Uh, so now we have two shields, which is which is great. It's always good to have two shields, in my honest estimation. I think so. After a short time, you hear the telltale sound of the teleporter. Farts. Okay, so everybody. In the med bay, or you guys in the med bay, and you guys over here. Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe I should get these guys in the med bay, and get these guys in the cockpit, and you in the med bay also, and then we can open all the doors. Uh, and then we want to close the med bay doors, and then okay, so they're oh shit, they're in the med bay. That's bad. That's really bad, actually. So, okay, we're, we're just going to have to fight them. Sorry. Sorry. I did a poor job here. Okay, so they're in the med bay. It's just one guy? Looks like it's just one guy. I mean, that's that's not a big deal. Oh, and the med bay's on. Okay, that's 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 cool. All right, we win. <laughs> they they teleported in the like the least uh, beneficial room to them, so it works out. It's fine. In fact, it's so fine that I want to uh, heal up uh, Weston, Mike Weston. Because he's for some reason damaged. I don't know what happened there. Uh, and uh, we were just being... We were just being utilitarian about things. Jill, uh, what are you? You're a shield guy. Okay, Jill. Weston, why don't you show up over there? Uh, Mallet, you're our pilot. And Tai Yi, what have you been doing? You've been our engines guy. Fantastic. Uh, power down the med bay, power up the Artemis. Cool. And then uh, let's let's jump to the exit and get the hell out of here. We haven't been getting a lot of really good upgrades um, because I've mostly been ignoring them. And we need an NG crew member to to get the ship in the NG homeworlds. Hmm. So since I don't have that, I think I'm gonna go to the rebel controlled sector. We really need to get teleporter, I think. Okay. Let's, uh, well, there's the stress beacon right off the bat, so we might as well go see what's going on over there. These guys seem like they're in distress, so let's unstress them. Okay, cool. Uh. Um, we're gonna keep the Artemis offline for right now, because it would be kind of a waste of missiles to fire into those green shields. Uh, without 
I, I think I think the pike beam is, is is what I'm saying is that I think that we need to take down their green shields before we fire any missiles because it would be a waste. Um, what happened to their red, their laser? Just kind of like whiffed there. That's cool. Hey, I ain't complaining. Works for me. And we can actually get a good shot with our pike beam, I think. So this is good. This is good. Um. And as soon as we deal with this, let's. Oh no no no! Tits. I screwed that up. I screwed the pooch, guys. The pooch has been screwed. It was a very dirty dog. It deserved to get screwed, basically. I mean, there's really... Uh, they can't penetrate our shields, so let's just take their shields down and then pike beam the hell out of them. That's my thinking. We did waste the missile, which sucks. Uh, but not that bad. Let's see how many systems I could hit. I guess I could hit that many systems, so that works. Okay, they want to give us one missile, one drone part. Nah. Rather kill him. Rather kill him dead. Rather have some more scrap. I wish the choices were actually a little bit more, you know, intense in this game. That's one thing that I could say. Because, like, right now I'm just being completely utilitarian about it. Yeah, so we got better stuff. Is that, like, eh, I just kind of want some more scrap, so I'm going to murder you. But I'd rather be, like, be like, like them appeal to my humanity. Oh, fart nuggets. Okay, this is actually fine. Maybe not. Well, double ion blast. If they hit our shields a lot, then shit could get dangerous. But other than that, okay, Artemis, Pike Beam. Can we get the Pike Beam? Nah. Eh. Never mind. I think by by the very nature of the fact that uh, okay, let's get you in here. Uh, by the very nature of the fact that this is not a straight line, I don't think that uh, it is possible for us to take them out. Without, uh, I, like, I was trying to see if we could actually, like, uh, do a, like, do damage to all their rooms. But I don't think that's possible, so. Uh, and we're getting pretty low on fuel, but, uh, people have told me, jump around when you have fuel, don't jump straight for the exit, so. We are going to do that. Because, uh, it actually, and since I've tried it once... Or twice. It seems to have worked. Another unmanned, unmanned ship. Okay. Cool. Alright. Great. Oh, fuck. This is actually bad. They have a lot of burst lasers. And a hull laser. This could be very, very dangerous. Um, in fact, so dangerous that we want to take them out quickly. Okay. Take down their weapons. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. We gotta make sure that they are out of out of commission. We gotta make sure that these weapons are out of commission, because as soon as that burst laser fires, uh, okay, thank God that missed. Hull missile. Okay, now we can power down everything. Power up the pike beam. Weapons are down. Uh, so you know we don't really have to worry. Basically, we have to wait for our stupid pike beam to charge, which sucks. This is not a big deal, I guess. And uh, there should be victory here once we once we hit them. We are probably going to need to get an upgrade here soon and get rid of this pike beam. But I mean, I suppose it's still doing damage as, as long as we can actually take down their shields. Oh, farts. You're kidding. This doesn't... Oh, dear. Okay, so we're going to have to jump back. Who told me to explore? It was a bad idea. All right, here we go. Let's let's go this way. We had to backtrack there, which is a shame. Okay, they're powering up their FTL. Oh, farts! Come on, two drones. Okay, so let's get the whole missile firing there. Let's get the Artemis firing there. Make sure they can't escape. Because basically, I think uh, see these these beam drones can't actually penetrate our shields. Oh, and you know what? They can't penetrate our shields at all. So what am I thinking? Let's get uh, let's get this fire in here at their weapons. Yeah, they just straight up cannot penetrate our shields, so uh, we're kind of in a good place. Let me get the Artemis firing here. Cool, their weapons are down. We could power up the pike beam now. Should have been doing that before. Yes, but oh no, we gotta power. We gotta hit them. We gotta hit them right in the engine room. Otherwise, uh, they're gonna get away, and we don't want them to get away. 
Okay, their shields are coming back up. Which means Pike Beam doesn't really pose a threat to them. However, it will in just a moment. And Pike Beam should finish them off. Cool. Wasted a good amount of missiles there, but uh, I think it was necessary. Probably. Uh, we probably can't... We, we kind of have to just jump to the end here, because these this Rebel Fleet is really hot on our tail. Uh, eh, we don't need we don't need to risk activating their data stores. We have a bunch of money, so we could spend. Uh, but what do we want to spend it on? I think I think honestly, our best bet is to save our money for a shop. And we can explore this this little sector here. See what we can get. We could always upgrade our shields, which I may do. Being broadcast from nearby planet, you find a small cache of supplies that were left for loyal Federation ships in trouble. You take all that you need, leaving some for others to find. I would have taken it all, were I the captain. Uh, hmm. This is very dangerous. See, because if we go there to the store, which I would love to go to, I don't know if we're going to make it in time, but you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going all in, guys. We're going all in. Okay, here we go. So we got uh, hull laser one, not good. Small bomb, also not good. Heavy ion, pretty good, but it requires two power. And uh, we need to upgrade our, our weapons as well. Because what we could do is we could have the ion blast hit their shields. Uh, and it would only do two ion damage, which would take down one. I think it might take out two shields. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We could get the shield recharge rate. Eh, you know what? Let's let's just fix her up. Maintenance type stuff. And we could upgrade. Uh, which, uh, you know what? Yeah, we could do that. And that's... Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, so now we have three shields. You know, that, that works for me. That works for me. And because I am terribly afraid that this does not link to this, I'm just going to jump here. I know it's backtracking, which sucks, but, you know... I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Oh man, we just made it. We just made it. So I am very happy that we decided to do what we did. Okay, we can keep the Artemis up. Um, and hit their weapons. Actually, we I don't think we even need to hit their weapons. I guess because of that. If their small bomb, if we could take down their small bomb with the first Artemis shot, then we don't really have to worry about too much. Oh, good, it's a fire bomb. Uh, we have blast doors though, right? So that shouldn't, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. We could just get him in there. The fire shouldn't spread. It will hurt our sh sensors, which sucks, but, you know. Okay, small bombs down, so Artemis can go offline. Uh, or, no, it can't. We have to hit their shields. Okay, Mr. Rockman should deal with this pretty easily, one would hope. And then after the Artemis takes down their shields, then we don't have to worry about anything anymore, really. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> so we're gonna have to fight we're gonna have to use another missile, which is shitty because we kinda need all our missiles at this point. Are you fucking kidding me, really? <laughs> we missed two times in a row and they're cloaking yep, it is going online. Great. It's just going to elongate the fight, really. I mean, it doesn't really do anything for us. So we're going to have to use three missiles to hit their shield one goddamn time. As long as it hits. Okay. Finally, their freaking stuff is down. And you're dead. That's all we needed. That's all we needed is, the, is that their shields were down. And by the way, the pike beam only does one damage, so it's not actually going to pierce through uh, even one level of shield. So... That's why I have to make sure their shields are down before I, you know, fire the uh, pike beam. Okay, they do have a teleporter, and they're getting give us missiles. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, because I want the missiles. You know, I think the missiles are a good idea. All right, so we could go. Oh, uh, see, we could go to the slug controlled nebula, but we wouldn't be able to get the actual slug mission. We would just have to fight slugs, and I don't. I don't think I want to do that. Let's go to the rock controlled sector, and hopefully that other purple thing is a slug homeworlds. Because if it's a slug homeworlds, then we could get the 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 special quest uh, to try to uh, get a new ship. And we're gonna jump straight for the store because I'm trying to look for a new weapon. Uh, okay, we got Burst Laser Mark II. It's not bad. 
heal burst, equivalently not bad. But do we want to get rid of the pike beam for uh, the hull laser? We could get rid of the hull missile for the pi for the uh, burst laser. And that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Because then we could fire the burst laser and the Artemis at the same time, and I think I may do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna get. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the burst laser Mark II. How much does it require? Yeah, it still requires two power. Yeah, I think I think this is a good idea. I think this is a good idea. So we're gonna sell the whole. Well, oh wait, do we have enough? Yeah, we should have enough. So I'm gonna sell the whole missile. I'm gonna buy the burst laser Mark II. And this is good because, yeah, okay. Um, might as well fix. Mm, we kind of need fuel, but uh, there's, <laughs> there's nothing we can do about it. So let's just jump this way. And so, so now you'll see my thinking here because we could keep the burst laser up and the Artemis up at the same time. So the Artemis could be kind of firing there, and we get the burst laser firing at their shields, uh, which would be good because uh, we're going to be able to take down their weapons with the Artemis. And at least because what we were doing is we were keeping the pike beam up and charge, and it just wouldn't, uh, you know, do anything. So uh, I guess we might as well repair that med bay while we're here. Artemis is going to deal with their missiles. Cool. Good turn off the Artemis. Okay, double miss. Great. Well, let's hit them again, I guess. Uh, I wanted to power down the Artemis, but we had a double miss on the burst lasers, which is a shame. Okay, we get the burst laser firing there. Keep it going. Hmm. Here's one thing that I didn't account for. We can't actually get the burst laser and the uh, and the hole and the pike beam on at the same time, which sucks. Uh, so we're gonna have to deal with that by upgrading that soon. Okay, great. We're just gonna have to keep missing. Fine. You know what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the burst laser hit their pilot room so that we're not gonna miss ever again, which would be good. Okay, there we go. Now we shouldn't miss their shields, although their shields are up. So, <laughs> cool. Shields are down. I mean, it's a slow fight, but we're winning. So, and, and we're not really taking any damage either. I think I think we may have gotten hit once, and we don't have to use a lot of missiles either. So, uh, uh, like, if we didn't have this burst laser, we would have to be using a lot more missiles. So. I think that this is a good idea. Oh, this is a bad idea, though. Let's let's make sure their shields are down. They resisted. That's really okay. Well, I mean, they had the one tick left, so I thought that what we were gonna do is uh, destroy them. Sadly, that was not the case. But we do need to get one more power bar and one more uh, weapon thing. Okay, we have the exact same scenario here. So let's actually worked out last time. Despite the fact that it did take a long time, it did work out, so I think this is not a bad idea. Now you're thinking, and I'm thinking as well, it may not be a bad idea. Okay, we got a lot of misses. Holy butt nuts. Okay, so you gotta go to the med bay. No, no, no. You gotta go to the med bay. You gotta go here, and you're gonna stay here, because we need our shields up. Okay, we're missing a lot. Wow, okay. So here's what we're doing. Everybody hit the engines. We have to make sure we're hitting. Okay, oxygen is down, which is bad. Uh, this is bad. This is real bad. Uh, but we need to get the shields up first. Oh, God, we really need to get the oxygen up, though. <coughs> this is... Really? Did we miss again? We miss everything again. Oh, good. <sighs> okay, so you're gonna get back in the shield room, and then we're gonna open up these doors and make sure things are good. That's not the door that I wanted. There we go. Fantastic. We're taking a lot of... Fuck! There's fires everywhere, too? This is terrible! Oh, no! And the Artemis is firing at the wrong place. This is awful. Things have gotten so bad in just such a short amount of time. 
Oh, god damn it. Well, go back in there, I guess. So, what I'm thinking is that maybe... Okay, we gotta jump out of here. Because, like, literally, there's, there's, like... Obviously, we cannot hit them. And I would love to keep fighting them. But let's jump out. As much as I would love to win, uh, if we can't hit, then we can't win. So hopefully we can hit these guys. <sighs> so let's, uh, ugh, let's shoot them in there. Let's get the weapons up. The weapons are up. Uh, so let's get the burst laser firing at their shields. And hopefully we can hit this time. We only have four missiles, so, you know, <laughs> we have to make them count, really. Uh, in fact, we have to make them count so much that I think I'm going to get the Artemis firing at their shields. Because if we make sure that their shields are down, then we could perpetually hit them. Uh, so. Okay. Okay, shields are down. We can turn off the Artemis, conserve some ammo, get the burst laser up, firing at their, uh, weapons room. Which would be good. One would hope, at least. Okay, weapons are down. Let's let's get let's get back to firing at their shields. Make sure that that stays down, because likely they are repairing it. Um, yeah, they are. Okay, but that's good. That's fine. We could upgrade our sensors to make sure we know what's going on inside, but I don't think it's really necessarily vitally important right now. So. I think I'm not going to do it. I want to upgrade our weapons so that we could get... Because right now, if we could get the pike beam and the burst laser firing at the same time, it'd be pretty balling. At least I think so. Cool. So let's see what they give us. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's uh, let's do that. Cool. So now we can power up the pike beam. Oops. See, we can actually power up the pike beam. Uh, did I not... I upgraded our engines. <sighs> I'm a fool. I am a fool. I knew that would happen eventually. Well, never mind. I guess we're going to wait <laughs> a little bit while longer, or a little while longer. Uh, you know what? That was, that was the plan all along, obviously, was I wanted to make sure that we had enough dodge chance, because otherwise... This is bad. Okay. Oh, come on! You gotta be joshing me. Alright, so let's, uh... Yeah. Pike beam shields. Burst laser shields. You, get in there. Oh god, they all have low health. Do you have low health? You do have low health, Jill. Shite. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, fuck. Alright. You guys get to the med bay. Med bay get. Okay, they're healing because of Mike Weston, which is good. Oxygen is down, which is bad. Uh, and in fact, we're going to keep that door closed. Okay. Cool, and we could get you up in the oxygen room to make sure that oxygen stays online, which it should hopefully. Okay, we're out of missiles once more, which sucks. But uh, yeah, there's really not much we can do about it. We could jump out. They want to give us two fuel drone parts scrap. Nah, son. Good, good. No, that's good. That's. That's actually what I was hoping for, was uh, was the ability to make this fight just a little bit harder. Okay, cool. We've dealt with it, and we got some more scrap, some extra scrap from it, which is good. Oh, what the farts? No, no, no. No, 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 no! Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, it's because the oxygen was down. We lost Mike Weston. Mike Weston is dead, guys. Mike Weston is dead, and it's all my fault. And our ship is almost dead. We're, we're nearing our our inevitable doom here, which I'm not a fan of at all. And actually, because Mike Weston is dead, we can't power up our three shields. Unless, of course, 
we get a power upgrade, which we will do. So we can get that powered up. Cool. That's good. We still can't power up both the burst laser and the pike beam, which is very bad. Uh, it is extremely bad for us. Uh, that couldn't be worse, maybe, I think is how far that I want to say about that. Is that uh, we have just not enough to get another uh, bar there. So uh, let's jump to the distress beacon because we're not in a distressable situation at all. Uh, let's lead them to their destination. Cool. Hey, here you go. Give us some stuff. I could use some free stuff. Maybe even heal our ship. That'd be good. Oh, great. We walked into a rebel trap. The rebels are after us. You know what's interesting is, in all these like space opera type stories, which you know I would consider FTL to be set in that kind of an uh, area, uh, the Federation generally is not are not the good guys. You know, whoa, that fired right over our bow. I would love to hit their weapons, but we have to make sure their shields are down. Okay, well, I mean, if we can't hit them, then we can't hit them. I honestly don't know what to do about that kind of a thing. Luckily, they, I mean, I guess we could hit them in the engine room. In fact, we'll do that. Because if we do that, we're going to be doing damage. And we... God, microphone died for there for a second, sorry. Uh, okay, so now we are ensuring no misses, which is good. Uh, I didn't realize that there was a fire, but we're just going to use oxygen to put that out. So we should hit every shot now. Okay, great. Some more fire. What do they have? Fucking fire missiles? I think they have fire missiles. Oh, God. Oh, man. We gotta jump out, don't we? Yeah, we do. If we want to stay alive, guys, we gotta jump the hell out of here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's real bad. Alright, well. <laughs> this looks like the end of the USS Fish Dicks. Fish Dicks. Uh, let's be clear. Yeah, this looks pretty bad. I didn't realize that we had such low hull health. Yeah, and we're going to miss every shot, too. Oh, boy. Oh, well, let's close the doors. Um, their doors are down, which is good. So let's hit them in the in the pilot room. Great. <laughs> miss every shot trying to hit the pilot room. I, you know, the enemy seems to have... Oh, farts. All right, get on in there. Put out the fires. Okay. They're down, uh, so that means we can get the burst laser firing. I don't think they could even pierce our shields, which is good, because, uh, well, our doors are down, which sucks. Oh, good, they're, fuck. All right, let's jump to the exit. <laughs> We're just trying to live here. Uh, I would do that. I would totally do that, but we don't have any missiles either. Oh, God. Well, I was hoping that that was going to be a Slug Homeworlds, but turns out it was not. It's just the Slug Controlled Nebula. So... Oh, store! We may live! So, I might have to temper what I'm doing? Oh, God, I don't know. No, none of that. We get a crew teleporter. Might not be a bad idea to actually get a crew teleporter at this point. Just sell all our weapons and go all in on the whole... Uh, you know what? We're going to do it. We're doing it, guys. We are going to sell everything. We're basically dead anyway, so I'm just I'm just going all in here. So we're going crew teleporter and uh we're we're going to make sure that we have enough power to charge everything up. Okay, so let's get the doors up. And then I want to heal as much as possible. Okay. Teleporter can be online. We have enough money to buy some fuel, which we're going to need, and some, uh, does anybody have any combat skill? Okay, looks like Tai Yi, Tai Yi is going to be our, other one, our main teleporter, and Jill. These two are our best teleporter guys, or our best combat guys. So that's good. Um, and then we're going to buy as much fuel as we can. And the rest will be spent 
on healing our hull. We're, we're doing this, guys. We're doing this. And we're jumping to the exit. We're trying to get as far as we can is what's going to happen right now. Oh, hey, look at that. You have to find a number of ships convening around a station. You tune into their unencrypted communication channel and overhear half their conversation. Seems they need to take position of the enemy ship intact. Let's offer to board their ship. They quickly see on your ship. It appears your ship could help. A bandit is made off with some very important cargo, though I doubt they have any understanding of what the, it is they sold. We need you to capture this intact. Uh, so let's agree to capture the ship. Cool. Fantastic. Let's jump right to that quest and hopefully survive along the way. Uh, wow. And we got breach missiles. Fire one missile does four damage and a high breach chance. That's awesome. That's that's a really good uh, upgrade. However, we can't use it at all, so, uh, so we're, we're not going to. Uh, here we go. Aid this. Mm, let's let's stay out of it for now. I think I think we want to stay out of any kind of confrontation. Let's get to this quest and see if we can't do this. Because I think we can, guys. I believe in us. Oh man. Okay. Whoa, they have drones too. All right. Well, here we go. Teleport to their weapons room. Um, or their drones. I don't know. What would be more valuable here? Probably their. Ah, gosh, I don't know. Probably their drones. Let's let's take out their drones. Hopefully, we're doing that quickly. Cool, these guys are dealing with it. This should be up any second now. In fact, well, yeah. We could get him in there, though. Eh, stay in the shield room for now. We've got low health. Farts. Well, you could stay there, there. How low are we looking here? 46, 39. Oh, God. Can you go? Oh, boy. Get to the doors. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Get in there. Cool. Teleport out, fellas. Oh, no. Why did you stay? Why did you stay? Why are you still there? Ring around the rosy. Pocket full of posies. Oh, God. Get out of there. Okay, get you in the med bay. Get thee gone, knave. No! Ah, go there. Go! <laughs> we, w we only need to keep him alive for a second. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You can stay there. Oh, God. Go, go, go. Just stay alive for just a little while long. No, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. Well, we're going to need to get you ready, prepped for boarding here. That sucks, actually. That really blows that that's what happened. Okay, oxygen's down. I mean, there's not much we can do about that. Uh, so anyway, let's, let's go ahead and jump on right into their weapons room. Why did they not both go? What the hell, man? They were both in the- why does this keep happening? I don't understand this. Oh, this is terrible. But we're gonna win in this quest. We're either gonna win or we're gonna lose. And, uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna aim for win. So, that means that I'm going to get our oxygen back online. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Okay, so teleport in there. Sensors are down. It sucks. You secure the... Rival, they message you. Good job. We'd prefer it if you did not speak of this to anyone. We got the whole beam. Cool. Success. We have had it. I wish we can, you know, keep it. Keep their ship. And uh, and actually go there because it seems like it's better. Beam weapon. One damage. Oh, farts. I didn't realize there was a fire there. Okay, so let's, let's, let's get this fire out. And then let's teleport these guys out of here. 
See, now it got both of them. I don't understand. I don't get it. But it's fine. Um, so the whole beam. Let's look at this. Two damage and systemless rooms. Okay, that's basically worthless to me. <laughs> to be honest. This is not that good. Uh, let's close the doors. We're basically going all in on this uh, teleporter strategy, guys. This is this is what we're doing now, from now on. <laughs> is uh, We're teleporting everywhere. Is he taking damage? No, he's not. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is our last chance. This is our last chance at victory. And we're getting pretty close to getting to victory. But probably not, like, excuse me, victory, victory. There's a whole breach there. That sucks. But I really don't feel like dealing with that. So I'm not going to. And we'll jump on out of here. I'm actually kind of upset that, uh, oh, no. Oh, no, is this how it's going to end? Please give us something. Okay, demand the surrender of their goods. Here we go. They're trying to escape. Oh no. Okay, so teleport into that room. Okay, looks like they're teleporting to us. Cool, we'll deal with them in the proper fashion. They're trying to take down our teleporter. That's interesting. Hmm. It's very interesting indeed. This is actually bad. Well, this is it. <laughs> Our teleporter is going to be down. Okay. And they teleported away. Shite. Uh, hmm. Well, let's see. Can we get the teleporter up in time to get these guys out of here? Let's see. It's a race against time. Oxygen's down. This is bad. No? Okay. Get to the weapons room, fellas. They're so much faster than us. Mmm, God. Okay, teleport. Oh, hey! We got trustworthy autopilot. I don't know. Well, we got an, uh, an achievement. I don't think that was this one. Oh, we killed everyone in the crew. Cool. Got ion blast. Great. <laughs> We're on fire also. Actually, hmm. Well, these guys are immune to fire, so let's teleport them back. Oops. Okay. Let's get you guys in there, dealing with that. And we'll get you up here dealing with the oxygen, because we kind of need the oxygen. Uh, more than anything else. So as soon as the oxygen's up, then we could get these guys towards the med bay so that they could heal up. You know, this strategy is actually working out better than I had expected that it would. Like, at all. I didn't think that that was going to work in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but, but it, it kind of has been. And we really cannot even afford to run them into the med bay yet until we're absolutely certain. I think, I think we could be certain right now. Yeah, they're good. So let's let them heal up. Um, is there any stores on the way here? No. And we still have only one fuel. <laughs> Why didn't we get any fuel? Well, uh, there's no sense in healing up because uh, uh, no matter where we go, let's go Zoltan. I think this is the end of the game. I've never seen this, actually. You enter Zoltan to his beach is not around for giving anything but hearing. And no fuel. Oh, Distress Beacon on? Huh. I didn't know that you could do this. That's pretty darn cool, actually. I had no idea that you can do that. Huh, so we could... Okay, pay 15 scrap for 5 fuel. Alright, fuck it. Yes, everything looks secure, but suddenly a member of supplies... Oh, you must be planted a portable teleporter in your cargo bay. Or you can react to ship is long gone. Well, I mean, actually, I thought he took away our fuel, but I think he took away our missiles. I don't give a shit about our missiles. <laughs> what are we using our missiles for? Come on now. All right, here we go. We jump to the shop, and we can, again, heal up. 
Max health. Here we go. We're going all in, guys. We're going all in. We're just trying to get to the exit here because I want to uh, succeed. We Oh, we sh I should have sold all that stuff. Hey, okay. You find the source of distress call. Fire suppression system's not responding. Let's send in our rock crew member. We'll contact the survivors to give us advanced FTL navigation. How is this working out? This is this is what I want to know. How on earth is this working out so well? Um, we can sell everything here. Uh, so, so we may just go back and do that. Get some full. Get some full for us. Some f sweet, delicious fuel. I don't know. I mean, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, we're doing it. I, I fear that we may encounter the peace. Nah, son. We don't even need it. We don't need that either, really. But it's fine. We'll just get all that. So let's see. Yeah, it looks like if we jump there... Eh, actually, we could probably still make it if we jump there. So let's let's jump there. We're just trying to jump to the exit. Although, we could also upgrade our shields. Oh, no, it costs way too much. Um, we could upgrade our oxygen. We know we could upgrade our dodge, and that's probably not a bad idea. Let's do it. We could upgrade it again. Yeah, let's get this party started. Super dodge skills. 35% dodge. You know what? Can we even upgrade it more? No, we don't. We don't have enough. Uh, we could get the sensors. That would be good. Um, that would also be good. So that we at least have a quarter evasion once our pilot's not in the bay. Because that's probably going to happen. Because we're probably going to need to get him out. Oh, good ion storm. Well, that's not that big of a deal. Okay, you spy for two, spy party. You know, in an ion storm, let's just let them leave. Cool. Okay. Uh, where? Oh, shite. So maybe still, we might have to round it around to try to get in there. Heavily damaged Federation is hiding in the nebula before you have time to make another fit into the nebula. Let's lock onto their life signs with your teleporter. Cool. So we have a mantis. Oh, boners. Boner city population me. We have a mantis. And mantises are uh, doubly good at uh, like like attacking people. Like boarding ships and stuff. So that works. This is our bane though. You want to know why it's our bane? This is an automated ship. Uh, we realize this, by the way, without uh, realizing it. That doesn't make any sense. But they don't have any oxygen on their ship because, you know, there's no crew. So uh, we can't actually teleport to them. So we're just going to have to stay online. We're just going to try to stay alive. Oh, God. I did not even realize that all of this stuff was offline. All we have to do is stay alive. Just stay alive until our FTL is online. That's bad. That's pretty bad. So let's go deal with it. Almost. Cool. All right. Success. Oh, I should have jumped right to the exit. What am I thinking? If this is our death. Alright, here we go. There's only three people on board, which means uh, that we can really mess with their day. Uh, and in fact, we might mess with their day so hard by way of their weapons or the oxygen. You know what? I'm going to hit them in the right in the oxygen because I want to force a fight. And I want to force a favorable fight. And this will be a favorable fight here. And actually, with their beam weapons, I don't think they can penetrate our shields. I think I think we're gonna succeed here, once again. Yeah, look at this. This is this is working out pretty well. We can actually just kill everyone on the crew. If there's anything they can do about it. Yep, they're gonna die. We're gonna kill every member of their crew. Wow, you know what? Teleporters are freaking awesome. I have no idea how they penetrated our shields. Oh, I guess they had constant firing of that uh, of that thing, but that's fine. It's not a big deal, because their crew's dead. There we go. So we got fuel, scrap. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, no we don't want to abandon them. Let's, let's get them back. Get you guys healed up. Oh, man. Mantis crew member. So many boners in the hole of, uh, you know, dealing with uh, this jumping strategy. Let's get out of here. 
This is working out far better than I anticipated. I just want to say that. I'm going to put that out there. We can trade one fuel for missiles. Nah, son, nah. We'll jump. Mantis homeworlds or rock homeworlds? Well, you know what? We have a teleporter. Um, and I think we need level 2 medbay also for the quest to start. This is what people have told me, so let's let's do it. Level 2 medbay up. Max engines. Uh, can we upgrade our engines? I think we can. Yes. Yes, we can. Wonderful. Uh, and we can power down our med bay one, at least, and power up the engines. Fantastic! This is d diminishing returns with the engine thing, but, you know, I think it's fine. And we do uh, kind of want to explore, because we want to find that quest. There are so many parts of mana space that are the wrecks of the battle's past, but this is one of them. You take a deep breath and prepare to move on. Okay, cool. So let's, uh... Let's get going this way. I want to find this quest, because if we can get this quest, then things are good. Oh, man. Yeah, let's stay out of it. Okay, cool. Let's get to the distress call. I don't know if that was the quest. If we had to aid that civilian ship, but I don't think so. Destroy and loot the ship, they're just pirates. Okay. It's a slug light cruiser filled with mantis. So here we go. Let's, uh... Let's hit them in the med bay. No, let's not hit them in the med bay because they have advantage there. So let's hit them in the oxygen. I'm gonna do as much damage as possible. I think this should be successful. I hope. Yeah. Looks like we should win this fight. Uh, except when they do that. Hmm. Hopefully he can live long enough. No, it doesn't look like he is going to. Okay, get in there. You get in there. Okay. They have to get in position. Oh, they're in position. Okay, go. Cool. We let them live. No, what? How did he die? He's dead. That's nonsense. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. No, no, no. We want the med bay up. We want both med bays up so that they can recharge faster. Okay, it seems like they're continuously hitting our shields, which sucks. But uh, but it's fine, because we'll just teleport in in just a moment. Okay. That did a bunch of damage. But it's fine. We're just going to deal with them. This is all we got to do. We just got to deal with them. And, uh, wow, that evasion chance does nothing. Upgrading that pilot room, that did nothing for us. Okay, that's bad. That's what I would consider bad, but it's fine. We have to keep an eye on these guys, too, make sure that they don't die. They're almost dead, which means we may have to teleport them out of here. Yeah, we are. Okay. Get out of there. I think we're going to lose this fight. I don't think, yeah, because they're just going to keep healing in this med bay, and I don't think there's anything we can do about it. So, let's get out of here, because we're just taking damage. Um, fuck it. We're going to go as far as we can, guys. Okay, here we go. A mantis female comes on the screen. The females don't make it to authority unless they're particularly vicious. You power the weapons. Oh, I was really hoping that was going to be the, uh, the quest. No such luck, though. Okay, they're taking down our shields, which is bad. We can't even power our shields, which is equivalently bad. Uh, this could be the end here. I don't want it to be. But it looks like it could be the end, guys. Yeah, it is looking pretty, pretty dark here. Looks like some pretty dark times. Upgrading the uh, pilot room is worthless, by the way. Like, because, look, if I leave, I, I have only 6% chance. Out of 35, man, that's like nothing. Okay, so... We definitely need to deal with them not taking out our oxygen, which they have done. So we're just going to need to put it online. Just to make sure. 
Our engines are down, I guess. That sucks. Is that why we can't jump? I mean, it has to be, right? I don't understand why we can't jump. Let's think about this. Engines are up. Pilot room's up. Uh, sensors are down? I don't know. Why can't we jump? I don't, I don't get it. Oh, because they're on the ship? Is that why? Maybe it's because they're on the ship. Are they on the ship? I don't see them on the ship. Okay, there's a fire in the engine room. There's a fire in the disco. Alright, I guess we're just gonna die. I, I have no idea what was going on there. I, I don't know why... I don't know why we can't jump out. But, uh, that's the end. That is the end for us. I have no idea what was going on there. You know what? It was a near success. We learned about the teleporter, and that's important. And, uh, hey, look, we got a new high score. Yeah, look at that. That's, uh, that's our second best run ever. So, cool. The USS Poos Poop Master defeated the uh, USS Fish Dicks, but not by much. So, uh, you know what? That works out. That's that's pretty good. And we got an achievement. I don't know what that achievement is. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's look at the hangar. Is that one of these achievements? No, it wasn't. That's a shame. Oh well, we tried. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. That's 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 the wrong ship. Let's see if it is. No, it is not one of these achievements. That sucks. Well, anyway, hopefully you guys liked it. This is gonna be a kind of long episode, but you guys have been saying that you don't mind the long episodes, so hopefully you guys liked it. So uh, anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know why I couldn't jump out. I would love to know. And, uh, yeah, this is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.